As autumn 2025 settles over Eastern Europe, a pressing question emerges. What kind of winter lies ahead? Early signs from global weather patterns hint at a season of extremes, with the potential for the infamous Siberian cold to sweep across the region. For millions in Poland, Ukraine, Romania and the Balkans, winter's severity isn't just small talk, it shapes energy bills, travel safety and even next year's harvest. This year, a strengthening La Niña and shifting Arctic patterns are raising the stakes, making forecasters pay close attention. We'll break down the science, explain the Siberian cold and highlight the main drivers, like the polar vortex and Siberian high, behind the coming months. Our goal, a clear month-by-month -month outlook for December, January and February, spotlighting the regions most at risk and the impacts to expect. Whether you're a farmer, skier or city dweller, this forecast is for you. The stage is set for a memorable winter. Let's examine the evidence and prepare for what's coming. Winter is coming to Eastern Europe, but what form will it take? The Siberian cold refers to a frigid, dry air mass that forms over snow-covered Siberia, where temperatures can plunge below minus 40 or even minus 50 degrees Celsius. This beast from the east doesn't flow constantly. It arrives in powerful outbreaks, driven by the dominant Siberian high. When this high links with Scandinavian systems, it blocks milder Atlantic air and channels Siberian cold directly into Eastern Europe. History shows the impact. In 2012, Ukraine saw temperatures below minus 30 and the Danube froze. In 2018, snow reached as far as Rome and the UK. These blasts can paralyze transport, strain energy grids and threaten public health. The air is not only cold, but extremely dry, harsh on skin and lungs. When it picks up moisture over the Black or Baltic seas, it can unleash intense sea effect snow and blizzards in coastal areas. Understanding how this air forms and moves is crucial for any long-range winter forecast in Eastern Europe. A single Siberian outbreak can define the entire season. That's why meteorologists watch for it so closely. Predicting winter is a global puzzle. What happens in the Pacific or Arctic can shape Europe's fate. For 2025 to 26, several key drivers are in play. Media, simplified weather diagrams showing La Niña, Polar Vortex, Siberian High, Meteorologist pointing at Weather Drivers Map, a developing La Niña, the state of the Polar Vortex, and regional snow cover. La Niña, marked by cooler Pacific waters, often leads to high pressure blocks over the North Atlantic and Scandinavia, prime conditions for cold easterly winds. The Polar Vortex, a swirling mass of cold air above the Arctic, can either lock cold in place or, if weakened, unleash it southward. Sudden stratospheric warming events can disrupt the vortex, sending Arctic air into Europe weeks later. Extensive Siberian snow cover in autumn strengthens the Siberian high, priming the region for cold outbreaks. Negative phases of the North Atlantic and Arctic oscillations also favor cold, blocking patterns. The interplay of these drivers, La Niña, the polar vortex, and regional patterns will decide if Eastern Europe faces a mild or brutal winter. This year, the signals are aligning for a colder scenario. Let's see how these forces could shape the months ahead. One of the strongest signals for this winter is the developing La Niña in the Pacific. La Niña cools the central and eastern tropical Pacific, triggering a chain reaction that alters global atmospheric patterns, including Europe's jet stream. For Europe, La Niña often means more high-pressure blocks over the North Atlantic and Scandinavia, diverting mild Atlantic air and opening the door for Siberian cold. This setup doesn't guarantee a cold winter, but it raises the odds for major cold outbreaks, especially in January and February. Not all La Niñas are the same, but current forecasts point to a moderate to strong event by early winter. Historical analogues suggest colder, drier conditions for much of Eastern Europe, with the most severe anomalies likely later in the season. This specific signal is the foundation for our monthly forecast. If the blocks set up as expected, the region could see a classic continental winter. The dice are loaded for cold. Now we watch to see how they fall. La Niña's global reach is about to be felt in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe's winter fate hinges on two giants, the stratospheric polar vortex and the Siberian high. A strong polar vortex keeps cold locked in the Arctic, bringing milder winters a weakened vortex can unleash Arctic air southward. Sudden stratospheric warming can destabilize the vortex, sending frigid air into Europe. The Siberian high, fueled by autumn snow, is the source of the beast from the east. 
When a weakened vortex and a strong Siberian high align, they block Atlantic warmth and drive brutal cold westward. This winter, La Nina and extensive Siberian snow cover increase the odds of this powerful combination. Models suggest a high chance of a negative Arctic oscillation, classic conditions for severe Eastern European winters. The interaction of these titans could deliver one of the most memorable cold spells in years. All eyes are on their next moves. December 2025 is likely to start mild across much of Eastern Europe, with Atlantic air still influencing the region. Poland and the Czech Republic may see near or above average temperatures early on, while Ukraine and eastern Romania could feel the first hints of Siberian cold. As the month progresses, the Siberian high will build and the first pushes of cold air may reach westward. Watch for high pressure blocking over Scandinavia. If it sets up before Christmas, it signals a shift to a colder regime. By month's end, widespread frosts and freezing temperatures are expected, setting the stage for a harsher core winter. Ski resorts should see good snow by the holidays, while cities brace for rising heating needs. December is the transition, a battle between fading Atlantic influence and growing continental cold. The outcome will shape January's risks. For now, enjoy the early calm, but prepare for what's coming. The real winter is just around the corner. January 2026 is set to be the coldest, most challenging month for Eastern Europe. La Nina and high pressure blocks will be at their peak, and a polar vortex disruption could unleash a true beast from the east. Expect a persistent flow of frigid dry air from Russia and Siberia, with temperatures 5 to 10 degrees below average. Daytime highs may barely rise above freezing. Overnight lows could plunge below minus 15 or even minus 20 in rural areas. Rivers and lakes may freeze, disrupting transport. Heavy snow is likely where cold air meets moisture, especially near the Black Sea. Travel disruptions, energy strain, and agricultural risks will be widespread. Deep snow may insulate crops, but bare ground faces winter kill. January is the core of winter. Prepare for a true Siberian cold event. The region's resilience will be tested. February 2026 brings high volatility. Will the deep cold persist, or will spring begin to fight back? The first half of the month should see the Siberian high maintain its grip, with a high risk of another major cold outbreak, especially if a late January polar vortex disruption occurs. Temperatures will likely remain well below average, with the cold reaching even the Balkans and northern Greece. As the month progresses, increasing sunlight will slowly weaken the Siberian high, allowing Atlantic air to push back. This transition could bring more snowstorms as milder air clashes with entrenched cold, especially in central regions like Slovakia and Hungary. Despite a possible late month moderation, February overall will be colder than average. Ski resorts will benefit from a long, snowy season, but most will face continued high heating costs and travel challenges. February is winter's final act. Endurance is key. The promise of spring is near, but deep winter will linger. Prepare for a snowy, cold finale. The winter of 2025 to 26 in Eastern Europe is shaping up to be colder and more demanding than recent years. La Nina, extensive Siberian snow, and a likely weakened polar vortex all point to a season dominated by cold continental air. December may start gently, but January and February carry a high risk of prolonged, severe Siberian outbreaks. Expect persistent, below-average temperatures, heavy snow in some areas, and significant impacts on daily life, from travel to energy bills. Watch for sudden stratospheric warming events and high pressure blocks over Scandinavia. These are the triggers for the most extreme cold. Prepare your home, vehicle, and wardrobe for a tough winter, and be ready for power outages or travel delays. The Siberian bear is likely to make a strong appearance. Stay updated with forecasts and share local observations to help your community. With preparation and vigilance, we can weather the challenges ahead. Stay warm, stay informed, and get ready for a winter to remember.